Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma. Hi children, how are you all? I hope everyone are fine. Yes, children, we are learning about the grammar part. Yes, today we are going to learn the phrase. What is the phrase? Phrase are the group of words. Yes, phrase are the group of letters which forms the words. Okay, see so here, a phrase is a group of words. I said not group of words. This does not complete sense on its own and is meaningful only as a part of a sentence. See here, children. Here, what is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words. Phrase is a group of words. Understood? And what it is, it not completes a meaning. It's a meaningful only, but it will not complete its meaning by its own. When we are adding any other statement, then it completes its meaning. Understood, children? See here, what it is, once again, a phrase is a group of words that does not complete sense on its own and is meaningful only as a part of sentence. Your examples here, the setting sun, the twin brothers on the hill. Here I said the setting sun. It is a phrase. It's having some meaning. But it not completes its meaningful. Yes, children. It should have any other part. Then only the sentence will be completed. And the meaning of statement will be completed. Yes, children. Here these are the group of words. Group of words. It won't add help of a other center. Other words to complete its meaning. Understood, children. Phrase means what? Phrase is a group of words. Phrase is a group of words that does not complete sense on its own and is meaningful only as a part of sentence. For example, the setting sun, the twin brothers and the hill. Understood children about the phrase? Now in this phrase, what is the next part? It is a sentence. We are going to see the sentence now. All the children. See the children, sentence. A sentence is a group of words. That has a verb that changes forms to show tense. A sentence makes complete sense on its own. I said phrase. Phrase will not have a verb. Remember children here? Phrase will, phrase will not have a verb. Phrase will not have a verb. But the sentence will have a verb. It has a verb which changes the forms to show tense. To show a tense. It completes the statements or it completes the meaning. See here, the setting sun. The setting sun. Here, this was a phrase. And now we have completed the sentence here. Setting sun was seen in the west. Here, seen is a verb in the west. The twin brothers are good dancers. Till here, it was in the phrase form. When we are adding here, are good dancers. It became the complete sentence. It became complete sense also it is there and it is completed the sentence. A sentence makes a complete sense on its own. See, the goats are grazing on the hill. The sentence makes a complete sense on its own. But phrase will not make a complete sense on its own. When we are adding any other statement or any other words, then it becomes a complete sentence. Then there is a phrase and sentence. Phrases and sentence. What are the phrases, children? Phrases are the group of words which will not make a complete sense. But it, what it is, its own it will not become a complete sense, but it makes some meaningful. If the center, the phrase will be a meaningful, but it not makes a complete sense on its own. But sentence, it is a group of words. That yeah, has, yeah. Here the sentence makes a complete sense, but phrase will not make a complete sense, but it is meaningful. When it want to complete, make a complete sense, it has to take some other support. 
So phrase and sentence. What is the difference between phrase and sentence? Phrase is a phrase is a group of words. Sentence are the group of words. But phrase will not make a complete sense on its own. But sentence makes complete sense on its own. So here they will not have the verb forms. Here they will have the verb forms. Sentence will have the verb forms and phrase will not have the verb forms. Understood, children? Here the sentence will be a the phrase will be having a meaningfulness. Here, the sentence will complete meaning it's there. Understood, children? The difference between phrase and the difference between the sentence. Understood? So, yeah, children, now we have learned sentence and a phrase. Yes, there is having a noun phrases. Noun phrases are what? Noun phrases are the words which shows in a sentence, the phrase in a sentence, it tells about the noun. It tells the noun. See here. A phrase which acts as a noun, which acts as a noun in a sentence and does not have a verb, which shows tense is called a noun phrase. Understood children? What is a noun phrase here? Noun phrase is here a word in a sentence which acts as a noun, which acts as a noun without the verb. Then it is a noun phrase. Understood children? See how well, the children are playing. Okay. Now the children are playing. Which children? Preschool children. Which children? Children? Preschool children. Understood? Here, the children. It is a noun phrase. Okay. Here you should see where it is. The word which is act. The phrase which is acts as a noun in a sentence. The phrase which acts as a noun in a sentence and does not have a verb which shows the tense. It does not have a verb. It shows the tense. Understood? Then it is a, what it is? Noun phrase. What it is children? Noun phrase. See here children. Nouns are words that refers to person, place, animal, things. Yes, children. See here, uh, in a sentence, in first in a sentence, it is a noun. It's describing something. Yes, we are describing about noun. Okay. Then the subject will be a noun. We are telling about noun. Okay, children. Now I said he is playing. He or he. It's a pronoun. Noun or pronoun should be there in a sentence. You know that? Everyone knows that noun or pronoun should be there in the sentence. It acts as a subject in the sentence. Yes, children. Here we are having the sentences. Yes, here setting sun was seen in the west. The twin brothers, twin brothers are good dancers. The goats are grazing on the hill. The goats are grazing on the hill. See, here, children, now a phrase which acts as a noun in a sentence. A phrase which acts as a noun in a sentence and does not have a verb, but it shows the tense. It shows the tense. Then it is a noun phrase. Everyone have understood this? Once again, I will explain you, children. Listen here carefully. A phrase is a group of words that does not complete sense on its own and is meaningful only as a part of a sentence. See here children, what is a phrase here? A phrase is a group of words. Group of words that does not complete the sense on its own. But is meaningful only as a, a part of the sentence only. It is a meaningful only as a part of the sentence. But individually it is not having any meaningful, any meaning. Understood children? Everyone have understood about the phrase? A phrase is a group of words that does not complete sense on its own and is meaningful only as a part of a sentence. And coming to the examples, the setting sun, the twin brothers on the hill. These are the parts of a sentence only. It's called as a phrase. See here children, a sentence is a group of words that has a verb that changes form to show tense. A sentence makes complete sense on its own. Once again, children, listen. Here, sentence of what? It's a group of words. But that has a verb that changes form to show tense. A sentence makes complete sense on its own. For example, 
The setting sun was seen in the west. Here seen is a verb. The twin brothers are good dancers. The goats are grazing on the hill. Understood children? This is about sentence. And coming to the noun phrase. What is a noun phrase? Here noun phrase. A phrase which acts as a noun in a sentence. A phrase which acts as a noun in a sentence. And does not have a verb. But as what it has, which shows tense, is called a noun phrase. Once again, children, a phrase which acts as a noun in a sentence and does not have a verb, which shows tense, is called a noun phrase. Okay, children, everyone have understood about the phrase, sentence and noun phrase. Now I will give you the worksheets, complete it, copy the questions and write down what it is. Everyone have understood this? Phrase, sentence and noun phrases. So here children, write S for groups of words that are sentences and P for those that are phrases. The first prize was won by our team. Copy the question and write the answers. Write S for groups of words that are sentences and P for those that are phrases. The first prize was born, won by our team. The ripe oranges, third one. The fish in the aquarium, fourth one. Too much exercise can sometimes be harmful. Painting, portraits is my skill, sixth one. The blaring loudspeaker, seventh one. The elderly people meet in the park, eighth one. Indian festivals are very colorful. Ninth one, the shaking of the earth's surface. Tenth one, earthquakes can move rocks too. See once again, write S for groups of words that are sentences and P for those that are phrases. The first prize was won by our team. The second one, the ripe oranges. Third one, the fish in the aquarium. Fourth one, too much exercise can sometimes be harmful. Fifth one, painting portraits is my skill. Sixth one, the braiding loudspeaker. Seventh one, the elderly people meet in the park. Eighth one, Indian festivals are very colorful. Ninth one, the shaking of the earth's surface. Tenth one, the earthquakes. Earthquakes can move rocks too. And now the second bit children. Circle the words that tell more about the underlined nouns and modify them. See, beautiful red flowers were blooming very everywhere. Blooming everywhere. Second one, the blue racing car reached the finishing line first. See here, uh, circle, circle the words that tell more about the underlined word nouns. Underlined nouns. I circle the words which tells more about the underlined nouns. Second, third one, the grey-haired sick man sleeps all day. Fourth one, all the planets orbit the sun. Fifth one, Aunt Sophie's cat meows very loudly. Sixth one, the annual champion trophy was won by us. Seventh one, the leafy branches of the trees saved in the cool summer breeze. Eighth one, the steep winding stairs led to a dark room. The na ninth one, that goat though has a bell around its neck. Tenth one, the short stout man we met at a Sue's party is dark. Understood, children? The head noun may have words before and or after it to form the noun phrase. Understood, children? Under, now circle the word which tells un, more about the underlined nouns. See, first one is flowers. Which flowers? Beautiful red flowers. Were blooming everywhere. Understood? Like this. Complete this. Complete it. Write copy in your classwork and complete the. Understood, children, everyone?